Cancer. Welcome to your June 1st through the 15th of 2018 tarot reading. I'm Serafina Safi and this is Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Um, I'm going to be doing bi-monthly tarot readings every 1st and the 15th. So if you want those, please subscribe and hit the little bell icon and you'll be notified whenever those come out. Also, brand new website just launched in the description box below. So today we're going to be doing a Celtic Cross tarot reading. We're going to be exploring your inner and outer world. We're going to see where your fears are and what's presently affecting you and how we can get to the correct outcome and what steps we need to take. So let's get started. What's one card for the central theme of Cancer's reading today? What is one card for the central theme of Cancer's reading today? One card for the central theme of Cancer's reading today. Give me one card for the central theme of Cancer's reading today. Okay, so we need patience. We need to have some patience. Patience. Okay, what's presently affecting Cancer? What's presently affecting Cancer? What's presently affecting cancer? What's present? Okay, so I see that you're in a period of resting. So there, we have the Four of Swords. So there's a, a period of resting here. What else is affecting cancer? What else is affecting cancer presently? What else is affecting cancer presently? Okay, so I see that there could have been some betrayal or somebody stole from you. Uh, stole ideas or stole actual physical objects. So you're resting from being betrayed. We have the Seven of Swords here. So there's a betrayal. When the past is affecting Cancer's present. When the past is affecting. We have some major, like presently have, we have some major air energy um, with the swords. We have the Seven and Four of Swords. So that would be um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In the past, we have um, your energy, this water energy. We have the Seven of Cups, and it, but, but it's in the reverse. So there was temptation. There was uh, tactics being used. There was being secretive, resentful, um, domineering in the past. What else is affecting Cancer's present? What else in, is in the past is affecting Cancer's present? Okay, so I have some emotional immaturity. We have the page of cups in reverse. So this is just water energy. This is your energy. And this is just emotional, like being very immature. What is Cancer's biggest fear? What is Cancer's biggest fear? So we have the Nine of Cups. I always see this as going out, drinking, um, but this would be wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. This is Pisces energy. <coughs> this is being uh, sentimental, like intuitive. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Cancer's biggest fear? Why is the Nine of the world? things coming to an end so you're so happy and there's nowhere else to go there's no more game why play Nintendo if you get the princess when you first turn it on you have to fight the battles you have to have the adventure so you're afraid of not having the adventure of not having things come full circle and things just being too perfect and there's no there's nothing there's nowhere left to go what does cancer truly wish for what does cancer truly wish for? You truly wish for um, the eight of swords in the reverse. Freedom, a way out, some self-acceptance to accept yourself. How does cancer view themselves currently? How is cancer currently viewing themselves? You're viewing yourself as the four the Four of Wands, 
in the reverse. So you're viewing yourself as someone, there's a break in communication. There's a transition that you're going through. This is Aries energy. So you view yourself as somebody who may be a little bit irresponsible, may have some anger issues, may be a little bit bold and outgoing, um, very energetic. That's how you're viewing yourself. Somebody who's impatient. You're viewing yourself as someone who's impatient. How do other people view cancer? And it looks like you you wanted a marriage, but it didn't happen. You wanted children, but you can't see that anymore. You can't see children in your future anymore. The marriage didn't happen. And now you can't see children in your future anymore. And that's leaving you feeling backstabbed and be betrayed. And it's over emotional immaturity. And you're in a self-enclosed prison. And you're afraid of coming full cycle. You're afraid of endings. You're afraid. You're afraid of things being too good because you're afraid once the the higher you get the harder you fall type of mentality how do other people view cancer how do other people view cancer so other people are viewing you as the three of wands so other people are viewing you as someone who has foresight somebody who's prepared someone who's going out on a journey somebody who's very like um courageous, organized, ambitious, a good nurturer, which is completely opposite from how you view yourself. But that's how other people are viewing you. What's coming towards cancer? What's coming towards cancer? Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is very influential. The Queen influences the King. Um, she's very practical, homely, motherly, down-to-earth, secure. This is Capricorn energy. So it could actually be a Capricorn um, or a Virgo or a Taurus. It's somebody who's very ambitious, responsible. Um, but beware because it could bring about some uh, codependency or temptation. Just just keep that. Like there's always like this dark twist, isn't there? <laughs> there yeah, there's always a dark twist. Um, but just beware. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here and what's coming towards Cancer? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here and what's coming towards Cancer? Ooh, the Magician. So this is a Virgo. It's talking about a Virgo. And the magician is the trickster. Um, the magician brings things into manifestation. Um, he's all about communication. He's adaptable. He's cunning. He's skillful. He's a major life event. It could be a woman too. Man or woman. And I'm getting Virgo bad here. So it's going to be somebody who's very, who is a Virgo. Very critical. Uh, very worrisome, very precise, very modest, um, a period of self-reflection, taking time out for yourself. What is the outcome for cancer? What is the outcome for cancer? Okay, wow. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. You conquer, you conquer, um, a new job so that like there's efficiency there's routine there's conservatism it's being methodical this is Taurus energy um, this is something that's very stable steadfast practical so this is good and that's coming towards you why is the um, Knight of Pentacles here why is the Knight of Pentacles here Right, so we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So with the Ten of Wands in the reverse, it, it looks like you, you're taking on too much and you're avoiding responsibility. And 
need more information. And the Seven of Pentacles. So with the Seven of Pentacles, there's vision. So you're taking on too much So you're avoiding responsibility, but yet there's vision. There's perseverance here. There's profit. There's reward. So you set something in the past that is being rewarded and you're avoiding responsibility for it because of your fears. So you just need to get over your fears. You need to open your eyes and awaken. You need to release that which does not serve you and then you'll be abundant. Then you'll have abundance. You'll have everything that you want. I see you're getting out of, let me see, how do I want to say this? Um, you're recovering from financial loss here. And there's brand new beginnings. It's very innocent, an innocent, fresh new start. And you're full of childlike wonder. And I see abundance in your future. There's abundance in your future. Any other advice for cancer? Any other advice for cancer? Any other advice for cancer? You need to balance. Any other advice for cancer? There's a transition that you're going through. It's a rite of passage. There's a transition. All right, Cancer. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. If you want tarot readings, the 1st and the 15th of every month, bi-monthly, uh, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you'll be notified as soon as I... Um, post a new video also website just launched description box below comment let me know if this resonated with you I'd love to hear any feedback if you want something different if if you want you know wh whatever you want just let me know in the comments below um, I, I love feedback I love hearing feedback and um, uh, if you like this like it also I have a playlist if you want to share uh, you can definitely share my, my playlist so your friends can pick out their own Zodiac and watch it. That would be really cool. Um, thank you again. Have a wonderful day, Cancer.